Hello, today we are going to learn MPI instruction of 8085 microprocessor. So, this instruction reads as MPI R, data. Now, R is register which can take values as R can be accumulator or B register, C register, D register, E register. H register, L register, or M. M is memory. Okay, M is memory, which is content of content of H. Okay. So these are possible values of R. R will be either A, B, C, D, E, H, L, and M. And data is 8-bit data, starting from 00H up to FFH. So it will be any number between in this range 0 0 to ff because this single f can be written as 1 1 1 1 of binary and this second f can be written as 1 1 1 1 so this is the 8 bit largest possible number okay that's why the range of data is between 0 0 to ffh now Let's see format of this instruction. Format means what does this instruction do? This instruction will simply copy the immediate data given in instruction into the register. Okay. Suppose if we have written instruction as MVI. Now R is let's say B and data is let's say 32. H. This H is in hexadecimal format. Okay. Because your 8085 data in hexadecimal format. So what will happen? This 32 immediate data will get copied inside the B register. Okay, that's why the square bracket is written. The square bracket we read is as we read as content of register. Content of register. Okay, now let's talk about addressing mode of this instruction. Now addressing mode totally depends on what is operand in it. So over here MVIR is opcode and data is operand and whenever data is operand then its addressing mode becomes immediate addressing mode its addressing mode becomes immediate addressing mode whenever you will say data in the instruction then its addressing mode will become immediate now let's talk about group okay since we are transferring data that's why this instruction comes under data transfer group then how many bytes of this instruction it is it is going to be a two byte instruction why because let's say instruction is MVIC, comma 35H. So this MVIC will take first byte and this 35H will take second byte. So there are total two bytes. That's why it is a two byte instruction. Another shortcut way of remembering how many byte instruction it is. Just see if two digit number is written in instruction, then it is two byte instruction. If number is not given in instruction, let's say HLT in HLT no number is there that's why it is one byte instruction and if four digit number is given instruction let's say LDA 7080 then it is three byte instruction remember this in this way if no number is there then one byte instruction if two digit number is there then two byte instruction and if four digit number is there there is three byte instruction now you may say that what if if there is three digit number and answer is there is no such instruction which will have three digit hexadecimal number okay your instruction will either have no number or it will have two digit number or it will simply have four digit number so if no number is there then it is one byte instruction then if two digit number is there then it is two byte instruction and if four digit number is there then it is three byte instruction that's why mvr r comma data is two byte instruction now let's talk about flags now flags are getting affected only when we perform operations on accumulator okay arithmetic or logical operations of accumulator over here no arithmetic and logical operations are performed that's why flags are not getting affected because of new instruction this instruction belongs to data transfer group and none of the data transfer group instructions affects the flag. That's why no flags are affected. 
let's take example suppose instruction is mpi a comma 55 h so over here we have to see two part okay what was there before execution of this instruction and what is there after execution of this instruction let's say before execution of instruction accumulator was having any random value let's say 22 h then after execution of this instruction what will happen it will move this immediate data 50 h 55 h inside the accumulator so after execution of this instruction your accumulator will become 55 h okay it will simply copy this 55 into a and the previous value of a which was 22 will get vanished let's take one more example to understand it clearly suppose instruction is instruction is m b i c comma 33 h 33 h so what will happen before execution we will have to check what was there in c register so let's say c 17 h and after execution of mvi c comma 33 h we will check what is new value of c register so content of c register what will be that value this 33 will get copied inside the c register so after execution of this instruction c register will hold 33 h value okay now here are some practice problems that you can solve for your better understanding let's say problem number one is before execution if content of b register is 11 h and we have executed instruction mvi b comma 33 h then after execution of mvi b comma 33 h what will be the new value of b register and second problem is before execution accumulator was holding 0 h and after execution of mvi a comma 12 h what will be the new value of accumulator i hope this was useful information thank you everyone for paying attention